What's going on, everybody? Just Brandon, the channel is Dad Planet. I am the one-man show. I went to the bins this week, and there was absolutely nothing. I feel like those bins were dry. I spent maybe $4. I spent an hour there, and I was like, dude, I'm out of here. I'm going to the retail stores. So I have some bonus footage I'm bringing you along for the ride, like I always do. Let's see what I found. Let's see if we're going to make any money. I'm going to need your help on a couple of things, as I always do, and there's a bunch of stuff in between. Let's go shopping. All right, so I'm out early in the morning. I almost have this entire store to myself. That never happens. These places are usually swarming with resellers. So you'd think I'd come away with like a million dollars worth of inventory. Not necessarily the case, but I like the first thing that I see here sitting on a table, so $7.99. So it's a vintage strainer, squeezo strainer. The brand is Lemra. I'm like looking right, you can see the, the actual strainer part that has a little bit of wear I and mean, like maybe I can wash that a little bit, but the exterior components, like all the other pieces to it, it everything looks like it's there. And the comparables on this, this is a monster. So lots of them pre-owned selling for over $100. I swear I sold something like this similar not too long ago. Maybe I found it at a garage sale, but in the, you know, the box is kind of torn up there, but a hundred bucks, we're starting off really fast here. So that's a great sign. Or so I thought. So the next thing I'm gonna grab, anytime you see Sony DVD VHS combo players, grab them and I am i don't trust this store. This store has kind of been in like a little bit of decline. They want $79.99 for that, by the way, which you can get brand new for $60 uh, on the internet. So that Sony, we're gonna get back to that Magnavox there because I saw that one as well. Sony model on this one is SLV-D380P. That is a banger when it is working. You could probably sell it for anywhere from $75 to $100 with or without the remote. And then this caught my eye too. This is a Magnavox MWD2205. I got both of these, but again, because I'm here early in the morning and these are sitting on the shelves, like not put away. And even though I see some carts here. I'm suspicious that this sat and it, they had been tested and not working and that's exactly what happened. So I got both of them in my cart, but neither of them worked. One of them, both sides had issues. The other one, the DVD was having issues. The Sony one, even for parts, it just simply wasn't worth it. And I didn't even bother to look for the Magnavox one. Um, like if it was selling decently for parts and repair. So I left both of those behind and I thought I was like, you know, I have the pick of the litter, all this stuff is gonna work, I'm gonna make a ton of money. Well, that wasn't the case, but that strainer, if all the pieces are there, that's gonna be worth a ton of money. So at least we have that so far. And then these are the racks again. These racks were, can you see they have a, th a full thing of olives right there? Man, I'll tell you, they'll sell anything. It's so gross. Um, I'm sorry if you like olives, but coming out of a goodwill, let's be serious. All right, so I'm gonna move over to the plush. They got plush and big blue bins in this store and in another store. So you can see this is Gudetama. I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it, but this little figure is kind of cute and kind of popular. Now they want $4 for that. And there's one pre-owned listed for like nine bucks. So I'm I'm gonna push that one. And again, I'm only using the UPC as my main keyword. So I only saw the one pre-owned. I'm gonna list mine for 20, not knowing anything else. Maybe there's a bunch more of them listed that aren't using the UPC as the keyword. And so, you know, I'll, I'll dig a little bit deeper, but I'm gonna go really high for that one, 20 bucks, but I don't really see anything else in this plush bin that catches my eye. This Build-A-Bear, I like her, her dress, but the voice box portion of it wasn't working. You can see Olaf, I don't know who that bear is. And then there were some like toys and random stuff kind of towards the bottom of this bin. So I figured, yeah, there must not be anything down there. And I quite honestly, I didn't dig to look at every single piece. Sometimes I just get lazy, but completely empty store. And I waited as long as I could for them to like start running carts or pushing some racks out, but Nothing really doing, so I'm gonna like hit the holiday stuff just once over. We're kind of running out of time to get holiday stuff listed since you know Christmas and all that's coming up really soon. But I found something that was kind of interesting here. I don't know if you consider this an ornament, and I don't even know how you pronounce it. Duftel, Duftelmannchen. It's German, 
and it is an incense smoker. So he's a little moose figure here. He's he's sort of right Christmas related. He's got a little bit of a wreath around his neck with a tie. Really cute. There's actually a sold listing on this for $25. But these, this is a Bolo brand. Keep your eye out for it. They want $5 for it. I'm going to list mine at 30, but there are other variations. This little guy's name is Smokey. I think that's at least what that was on the bottom of the box. But there's other figures from that brand that are really strong and sell really well. So keep your eye out for it. A new to me brand. Hopefully that's a new to you brand as well. And then a bunch of other junk sitting on the shelves. At least the stuff I didn't recognize that might have value. Like I'm looking at all these shoes. This is just These are just all torn apart. No, those are not real Crocs. Those are like the time and true um, off brand Crocs, but nothing else going on here so i got out of that store moved over to another store here now this is this little guy here is special agent oso this is a disney store plush he's really only worth 15 dollars. they want four on it and i've actually sold this koala times ken for 50 dollars uh brand new just like he is right here but they want eight dollars for it and it looks like the market has caught up there's a lot of him listed now whereas when i sold mine there were not and there are only a couple sold in the $30 range right now. So he's in my cart, but I'm gonna toss him right back in that blue bin. And I'm not gonna bother with Blue's Clues. That thing was huge, by the way. It was a vintage Tyco, what does it say, 1998 on there. So he was kind of awesome, but he was really heavy, really big, and I'm too lazy to try to clean his um, like lip, mouth area. So I'm just, you know, sometimes I make decisions just where I just, I don't feel like I wanna put the work in or the time in, and I'm just looking for other things. And this is the first thing that I hit in this store. So I'm like, maybe there's something better that I'll fall in love with. And I won't have to worry about picking up that uh, huge plush. But I don't have a problem shipping it. I'm just too lazy to clean it right now. So I don't see anything else in here. There's a couple dolls, uh, some uh, squishies. And same, same with the other store. Just not a ton that I recognize. I think that was Ryan. And there was a minion in there too. So um, if you guys follow Paul Cantu, the thrift god, he is... One of the things he says is the sleeve never deceives. And I think that's hilarious because I saw that starter sleeve right there on this rack and ran right to it. And wouldn't you know it, it's a Cleveland Indians pinstripe vintage starter. This is an absolute banger of a garment here. And I had to go into Terapeak to get some um, sold data, but there was an XL exact same style that sold. I can't remember when, it'll be up on the screen. Sold for a hundred bucks. There was one that was a similar style that sold for 75. And oh, by the way, when you're searching Terapeak now, you can go back two years. Not only that, you can click on the main image and it will it will resize it and make it larger, which was one of the major sticking points. You couldn't do that before. So major shout out to eBay for those um, changes. That is phenomenal. Um, but that's the only thing that I was really satisfied with in that store. So I took off and now we're on to store number three. And this is the like, I've tried this stuff on and I'm putting it back on the rack rack, like right outside of the... Um, dressing rooms and so I always check this because not everybody is a reseller right so you're seeing some good things here there was a polo shirt I passed on that had elephants on it and then the uh, the uh, vineyard vines look like a Italian flag deal here but I'm taking these chinos from polo Ralph Lauren so you can see that they have um, little crests little embroidered crests all over them it's a size 36 34 it's just their their regular chino pant and it's 97% cotton and 3% elastic. So it's got a little bit of a stretch to it. Prices are all over the place for this. So, you know, I, I see them selling brand new, pre-owned. I don't really know what to do with it. So I'm gonna settle in at $55. I think I can move them pre-owned in that uh, for that price. So uh, that's where that's gonna go. Now this thing here, we're gonna come back to this. It's two bucks. It's not a uh, like a tall glass. It's more like a vase, but see that mountainy bottom thing right there. I'm gonna need your help. We're gonna take a little bit of a closer look when I get home because you know I don't really know what I'm dealing with with glass there and I'm gonna need your help. Same with, well not same with this but um, NAU or NAO was the brand there and I had never seen that tag before so I grabbed, <laughs> Baker Mayfield, I, um, I grabbed that tag. I grabbed that shirt because I didn't recognize the tag but there's there's no value there so I ended up putting that shirt back but anytime I see a tag that I don't recognize I'll grab it and I'll look it up and um, that's kind of how you learn on the fly, right? You just go into the eBay app and check the sold data and you know, maybe you hit a home run, maybe you don't. On that one, I don't, but we need to take a look at that glass when I get when I get home. So Starbucks tumblers, always check those out. They want $5 for that. It's pre-owned, it's got scratches all over it, no value there. My shoe game is so low right now and these are in pretty good condition. So as far as resale goes, they're Brooks Ricochet 3 
beautiful shoe, women's size nine, in really nice condition, kind of a knit style around the ankle. And sell through is, is okay. It's more, it sells, I guess, better brand new than it does pre-owned. So I'm gonna get aggressive, soles are fine. I'm gonna put them at $30 where I see them selling brand new for a hundred plus but $30 for those, I need shoes. So I will uh, accept the fact that those ones don't look like they sell a ton pre-owned, but excellent condition, plenty of tread left on the soles, and I need to up my shoe game. So they're coming home with me regardless. Next thing I found here, this was coming off of a fresh rack. It is a, um, unfortunately, it's not a men's size, it is a boys XL. But the nice thing about this is it only cost me $5. So reversible, the style is Chimborazo. And you can see that it's fleece on the inside. And then it's like a puffer jacket style, boys 18 to 20 on the outside. In relatively good condition as far as um, boys jackets go, I always check the sleeves to make sure a little bit of discoloration, right? But not too bad. And then I've already got this listed. I'm gonna price it at $65. Uh, again, because it's only going to cost me five, and uh, we'll see what happens there. Maybe I'll take some offers, but in in really good condition, all things considered, both uh, sides. So they charge five dollars for t-shirts in this store. I think it's either four or five, so that's crazy. But True Religion is a great brand for me. It's a men's XL. There's like I don't even think there's any sold comps on this, so to pay five dollars for it's kind of crazy. And I'm really probably only going to list it for twenty bucks, but I like that brand. I'm taking it now. What would you do here? This is a coach bag. The style on this bag is Christie. It's in excellent condition, aside from two things. You're gonna see this right here. And I think this is pretty common with certain bags, but it's starting to come apart there at the top of the bag handle. Um, inside, nice and clean. Style number is F57525. Really clean pockets, um, kiss lock working fine and then it has the extra strap. There's an extra strap that's a little bit longer than the, than the handles, but both of those handles have that leather coming apart. And because of that, and because I don't sell a lot of bags and I don't know any better, I left it behind, I didn't buy it. Comps look like they're in the $75 range pre-owned with no condition issues. But what would you have done there? I'm gonna need your help. Would you have picked that bag up and sold it for you know maybe $30, $25, $35? I think it was $8.99. I think that's what those bags are. I'm not entirely sure. But even leaving that behind, I spent $44 and my listed value is $4.20. Now let's take a little bit of a closer look at that glass. All right, here's this vase a little bit closer. The, so this is about, if you look here, this is, goes about three inches across, and then it goes about eight, just a little over eight and a half inches to the top, but it's almost like a, like a mountain top in there, right? I don't, does anybody have any idea what I'm dealing with, what this mark might be? You know, if nothing else, it's just a $2 uh, lesson here. The glass is thick though, it's pretty heavy. Um, I didn't put it on the scale, but this thing is a good four, three to four pounds. Feel, maybe, maybe I'm overstating it a little bit, but it's heavy. It's definitely not thin, but this is a very unique pattern. So I'm just wondering if I've got something of value or uh, a uh, piece of junk. I don't really know. Um, yeah, if there's anybody in the audience that has any specialized knowledge on this, uh, uh, feel free to enlighten me. I want to show you this shirt too as I'm about to photograph it. We've got a really nice day for fo for photographs here outside. Polo Ralph Lauren custom slim fit. But look at this rugby bear, little St. Andrew's crest. This is an amazing shirt. I found this at a Goodwill I don't normally go to. It looks like it's a men's size small custom slim fit. But look at that graphic on that shirt. Pretty amazing. I'm going to flip it over here for you. Look at the back graphic as well. This polo underneath the collar. This is such a sweet find. So just wanted to uh, show that to you as well. Actually, by the time you guys are watching this, uh, this should be listed. So look for that. Thanks so much for tuning in. Brendan here, Dad Planet, The One Man Show. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today. And then always consider becoming a member of the Dad Planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time I upload a video to YouTube. But that is it. That's all I've got for you today. Thank you again. We'll see you in the next one.